the next step is for you to um, create a banner. Create a banner, a login banner, which is known as a message of the day or MOTD banner. And this is configured to warn anyone accessing the switch that unauthorized access will not be um, tolerated by the uh, admin. So basically what you have to do to configure the banner. So here, um, the banner, um, the MOTD banner command requires the use of delimiters to identify the content of the banner message. So here the delimiting, the delimiting character can be any character as long as it does not occur in the message. So for this um, example, we will use the hash command um, to as a delimiting character. Okay, so to configure the banner, um, I'll type ban, uh, make sure here uh, you are in global configuration mode. So press exit. Uh, you see that I use the command X here. Uh, it's okay. We can use short form as long as the there is no other um, command that starts with uh, that um, have that followed by EX. Right, for example, EX exit. So there's only one command which is exit that is followed by EX. Okay, so that's why I can use the short form. I hope you understand what I mean. Okay, so um, now um, to create the banner, like I said, we need to type banner uh, MOTD and then we need to tell the delimiting character. So the delimiting character here that I use is the hash character. So when I press enter, so I can um, uh, enter the message and end the message with the hash character. So I'll type uh, unauthorized is strictly prohibited and prosecuted to the full extent and then end it with a hash character so enter right and then you can type exit to go to the global uh, user exit mode so once you have finished configuring so we need to save the configuration. So to code save the configuration, so we need to issue the command copy running config startup config. So we use the copy command to save the running configuration um, from the running config file to the startup config file on the NVRAM of the switch. So this is the full command, show running config, startup config. But, uh, and then when it asks you the destination file name, so you just press enter. Okay, because the startup config is the default file name. But you can also use a sh um, short form uh, for the copy run config startup config command, which is copy run start. Okay, copy run start. So if I type copy run start, so this is a short form for the command and press enter, it will do the same. All right. So if you want to show the current running configuration, what is the command? The command is show run all right so this is what we have done so far we have changed the name of the switch we have enabled the secret class password you see here it is an encrypted because we use the command secret um if you use the command password here like here you could use the command password so it uh, the password will not be encrypted but if you use the command password a uh, secret the password will be encrypted and then we already issued the no IP domain lookup command and we also has issued the unauthorized access command. 
Okay, we create the banner MOTD and it, this is the unauthorized access um, banner uh, for the um, unauthorized access. So um, now we have displayed the current configuration. What in the next part, it asks you to display the iOS version. So how can we display the iOS version? So basically here, yeah, we just issue the command show version. So remember, if you want to issue the command show, you need to be in the user exact mode, not in the global configuration mode. So here in, uh, we use the show version command to display the Cisco iOS version here, version 15.0. So this is the version for the Cisco iOS. And um, along with other useful information, so some of the useful information is the location. Um, okay, it's the MAC address, okay. Um, let me see what are the important. Okay, the, the important is the system image file. So this is the system image file. Uh, very important is this location. Um, and then um, the, the MAC address is also important. Okay, so and this is the switch, uh, the switch and the model, the software version. 15 is this is the switch uh, version which is 62290 so this is all of the important information for the for the switch that can be shown using the show version command okay and then uh, finally um, it asks you to display the status of the connected interface on the switch here the um, item j um, last one here, display status of the connected interface on the switch. So basically, one, uh, you need to display it and record the interface status for the following interface. So how can we um, show the status? Basically, what we can do is we can go um, to the user as a mode and type show IP interface brief. Okay, in the show IP interface brief, you can see that which part or which interface is currently have um, um, up status. So currently the up status is uh, for switch one is fast internet zero six and then um, that's it, isn't it? Okay. Um, and then fast internet 01. Why uh, only fast internet 01 and fast internet 06 status is currently up? It is because this is the only uh, port that is connected to the other device. If you see here, um, fast internet, if I mouse over, you can see that fast internet 0, fast internet 0, Okay, one fast internet zero one is connected to switch two, and fast internet zero six is connected to uh, PCA. So you can see here if I mouse over to the connection, so FA zero one is connected to switch two, and FA zero six is connected to PCA. So basically, that's the reason why only these two interface is currently in up status. And also, you can see that uh, the VLAN is also in um, enabled status here because we already activated the VLAN and assigned IP address to the VLAN. So what you have to do here, you need to you need to insert. Yeah? You need to insert. Uh, the information that you have um, observed from the command of show IP interface brief into this um, table. Okay. So um, basically, you have to do the same, repeat all of the steps from step A until step um, L um, for switch 2, yeah, switch S2. 
Um, so I think, um, and then you need to perform again um, the ping from PC, uh, PCA to PCB to PCS1. Uh, for example, here from PCA, if um, we need to test the connection, um, like for example, I already configure a switch one, right? So I can issue the ping command to 192.168.1.1. This is the IP address for S1. So basically, it needs to be, it must be um, successful. All right. Um, if the first time is request time out, that's okay because network takes um, quite some time to converge. So maybe the first time the uh, packet is sent, it is a drop, but you need to make sure any of the uh, there you will get reply later on. So we can safely say that there is a connection between PCA and um, switch one. So if you do the same for switch two, so PCA can also be connected to switch two using the assigned IP address. So I think that's all for today. Um, what I want to do is to complete the um, configuration for switch two, S2 and perform all of the verification for the connection. And please answer the reflection questions at the end of the lab notes. So that's all for today. Assalamualaikum and good day. Bye-bye.